You know when you have an equation, let's say uh, y equals uh, blah, 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 here. Um, well, when, when someone gives you an equation, you can add equally to both sides. You can take away equally uh, from both sides. You can times equally. You can divide equally. And uh, recently, I, uh, I said that you can uh, take the reciprocal equally as well. Okay. Um, so now, now here's, that's, that's a new thing now. Um, z squared equals blah, 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 blah. You can actually take the, the square root equally um, uh, to both sides as well. So for example, uh, square root of this here, and then you square root blah, 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 blah. So th this thing here, um, when, when you square root a square, look at this here. This here beca actually becomes z because um, if you look at this here, 3 squared is, uh, is 9. So for example, if someone gives you this here, if you square root both sides here, um, it, it basically means this, uh, 3. Because 3 is, but basically here, if, if you have a, a bubble here, and then you, you uh, if, if you have a bubble squared, and then you square root that thing, it will, because the square is the, square root is opposite of the squared. Basically, they're, they're inverse of each other. So, um, they kill of each other, leaving you just the bubble. Okay? So, so when, when you're here, um, if you take the square root of this here, you, um, you basically get to z. Okay, so let, let me give you an example, then you, then you see what I mean. Um, let, let's say uh, z squared equals uh, x squared plus 5x uh, minus 2, and uh, x equals 6. Okay, so here, let, let's put the, uh, the, the 6 into the, uh, into the x here, so that would be 36 uh, plus well, 6 into this thing here would be 30, and then uh, take away take away 2. So this would be uh, uh, 66 take away 2 would be uh, 64. Okay, so z squared here, z squared here. Um, so so when, when you're here now, inside your mind, take the square root of, um, of 64. So, well, take... take Sorry, take the square root of both sides. So on, on this side here, if you square root this, you're going to get z. Because um, if, if you have a bubble, you square, you square it, and then you, you square root it, this and the square root, they're, they're total opposites of each other. So, so you're just going to get the bubble. So now, what's the square root of 64? Uh, well, we know 8 times 8 is uh, 64. So 8 is an answer. Um, 8 is the answer. But then, but then there's another thing. Um, if you have minus 8 times minus 8, that's, uh, get 8 times 8 as normal, which is 64. Uh, and then you've got a minus and minus. So my, so a minus and minus would be a positive. So, so the point I'm trying to make is that minus minus 8 is also an answer as well. Because if, if you get minus 8 times minus 8, it's also 64. So so when you have a, a, a an equation here, z squared equals blah, 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 you, sh you might get two solutions. Um, here, this would be 8. 8 squared will also give you 64, and minus 8 will also give you 64. So here, you have two solutions. You, 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 you basically have 8 or minus 8. Okay?